Oh, hey guys, I promise you that I have some content, and, well, I've been trying lately, and, uh, we were getting a little bit small, but, uh, I didn't have my phone on me then. I tried to do some catfishing, and we had one hit. I just can't access the place without a boat. My dad has a boat, and, uh, well, I mean, yeah, my dad does have a boat, but what I'm getting at is we took my dad's boat out and tried to do some fishing catfishing we had a couple hits but we had one but it came off and uh it's just been pretty slow so i went to farmington iowa to the this bait shop i can't remember the name i bought some eight uh number eight hooks because these boys were smaller and i figured that i promised you i'd have some content so let's get right into it Ooh, fish on fish on fish on fish on oh yeah buddy Ooh, there we go Thing's small. Perfect bait size, though. But, uh, there you go. Let me see if I can get you guys at a better angle. Small. But, uh, perfect bait size. Yeah, we were fishing, we had a little too big of hooks. We didn't have small enough hooks. That did the trick. Let's get the next fish. Um, I got myself a fish. There we go. One's a little smaller. But, uh, caught him. Oh, don't tell me he swallowed that. Nope. Well, on to the next fish. Oop, got one. Oh, that was a big fish. I think that might have been a catfish. You gotta rebate my hook. So the problem with small hooks, when you hook onto a big fish, not like a big hook. A big hook, sometimes hooks are weird. So let me get you out of better lighting. So hooks are weird. Uh, a small hook, like a size 8 hook, which is super small. Which something like, let's say a one, uh, not a one off, but a um, size 4, size, like or your regular 16th ounce jig heads. If you catch something big, it can hook it, but a lot of times it's going to rip through their mouths. So, bigger hooks, sometimes they can't even get it in their mouths to hook themselves. So, you got to find that happy medium. If you're getting your bait stolen, if you're getting a lot of hits but nothing, downsize your hook. If you're using like a 5 aught Gamagatsu and you're not getting anything, downsize it to a 3 or one aught Gamagatsu. Um, different brands have different sizes. A uh, 5 aught Gamagatsu might not be the same as a BJ Gamagatsu, uh, I mean a BJ 5 aught but uh, yeah. So let's get a big, big, I mean, just like a, this red worm on, and uh, see if we can't catch something. I think it was a smaller catfish that hit my line, so. Here, I'm going to keep you guys on. I'm going to show you how fast these things are taking it. They're just one after another. They're going crazy for it. It's like I'm fishing a creek. Watch this. I'm already getting hits. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Getting the hit. My bobbers moving. I wish he'd just take it. I think these fish just going up and down the banks. So little. Can't get much in their mouths. Here we go. Of course now they said they're just taking it. Now they're not. Oh, yep. Dang, missed him. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I'll be right back to ya. Come on. Ooh, this one's bigger. Ooh, there we go. Actually, that is not a decent size one. That is the first bigger fish I have caught. This is like stuff I used to catch at my creek before everything got small. Look at that. That's hand sized. That is a hand sized bluegill. Barely got him, too. Look at this. He came right off. Hand sized. Whoop. Oop, dropped him. Let's let him go. I just lowered my bobber because it was pulling up and I didn't notice it when I was trying to show you guys and right away. That is the first decent sized fish I've ever caught out of this um, out of this lake. I mean decent sized panfish. Like crappie and all that stuff. That is the first decent sized one. I think that's what I had last time. It was right when the wind blew my bobber right into the same spot. And I just got him. But I spot I had him. I'll get back to you guys and I'm catching ooh, ooh. Yeah, there we go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Come on. You got this. You're alright, Mr. Fish. No, no, don't come off. Aw. Don't you just hate that? I think they'll be on. I think he might took my took my worm. Man, this is a... I'm not catching big thing stuff, but I like it when you're fi the fish is just... As soon as it hits the water, they're... I think there's so many of them down there, they're just all pecking at it, and they... Whichever one swallows it first. These are the size fish I need in my creek. Some of them, like the first two that I showed you guys, those are kind of... Some of the bigger ones I have in my creek, but that one, like that bluegill I caught, they're all bluegills. That male, that last one, that's the type that I wish I had in my creek. I used to. I don't know where they all went. Oh, yes. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. He took it. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Gotta be on high alert. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Whoo, there we go. There we go. He pulled a little bit of drag on my drag set. Oh. I'm not catching much fish. I mean, I'm not catching big fish, but I'm catching fish. Right there is a bluegill. I got a bluegill. There we go. Yep. Oop, oh, fell back. These are the most handy fishing tool I have. If you not have one of these, these are an Ozark, Ozark Trail multi tool. But, uh, no pliers, a knife, and a bunch of million other things, just like any multi tool. But, uh, yeah, if you do not have one, and I'd recommend getting one. Um, these hooks are so small. Kind of hard to get out sometimes. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Fish. Now I'm holding them by the tail like that. So it doesn't hurt them when I get them like that. But, uh. Yeah, let's put them in the water. Some people catch, keep those small fish, but uh, I can't even get a potato chip out of them. Some people cook them whole, and you, you might barely get a potato chip out of them. But I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Let them grow and let them get bigger. You know, that's my opinion. Man, this video's been going. It's a nine-minute video. I've only been here for nine minutes. I mean, about ten minutes. I've had the camera off about one minute total. 
And that's when I was doing all this stuff. Yeah, but hope I can catch a catfish on a worm. That would be fun. That would be fun. Those have to, I don't care what size catfish is. A catfish. Well, then I can eat, preferably, but. You know? It's fun. I'm not catching big stuff, but I'm catching stuff. It's all about the angle. All about the angle. I just can't believe how small some of these fish get. Just, uh, we keep losing them. It hit crazy, but we keep losing them. And I went to Farmington. They have a bait shop, like I said. And I bought these size 8 hooks, and they're not 8 dots. You think it's an 8 dot. You're not that, not that bright. There's a difference. An 8 dot's big, size 8 small. So, uh, there we go. Come on. Sorry about the wind. Ooh, he came off. He came off. Doesn't that just make you mad? <laughs> I'm just keeping the camera rolling. I'm getting so many fish. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Will you? If I run out of memory, but just stop. So. Like and subscribe for his 28 subscribers. I'll do a catch, clean, cook. But, uh, number, I don't even know, Bluegill. What's that? Like, number 10? Uh, number 6? Yeah. It's 12 minute, 33 second video so far. And, uh, my phone doesn't have as that much memory. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I have no apps or anything on my phone, just I have much memory built into it. Um, I don't I haven't downloaded an app forever. So. It's mainly pictures of the monsters I catch off camera. Fish. Monster fish. Monster fish. Simple setup here. I don't have a split shot. I'd prefer I did, but just a bobber and a little size, uh, size 8 hook and a red worm that you can dig up or just regular worms. I don't know what you want to call them. Some people call them red worms. I guess, I don't know. I'm just going to pitch it out of here. Probably going to end up talking to the camera. When the it just ran out of memory. Fish on, and I didn't even know it. That is the smallest fish of the day. Look at that. That is small. Of course, he, yeah. Look at that compared to my hand. That's just a reference to show you guys how small that fish is. Okay, got that fish done. Got it out. He got hooked himself. Yeah. And, uh. He's floating over there dead now. And I did have a fish on him. And I lost it. But, uh, I have my drag set so low, you can just tap it, and it'll pull it out, because these little fish, 
just a little. Look at this. So my line's tight like this. Look. Look at I'm tapping it. Look at that. I just flicked it. This is a reference to how light I have my drag foot. Super light. But, uh, yeah. I'm already getting another fish. Watch this. Here I go. Got him. I got him. I got him. There we go. Another fish. He didn't gut hook himself that time. He's. This is a different fish. The other fish, he's floating. He was bleeding out of his gills. But, uh. There we go. You know, I wish I had a way to keep all these fish alive the whole time I'm here because these are perfect size live bait. And I was, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, wish I had a way, but I don't. So, I don't have a, like an aerator I could keep them in or anything. They'd be great flathead bait and I love flathead fishing. I love catching flatheads. So, yeah. Heard again. It's just nuts. I've only been here for 15 minutes. I keep picking off my hook. I don't know how many fish I've lost. But, uh. I wish this guy would just take it. He's messing with me. Probably the longest fishing video I've ever made. Probably one of the more exciting fishing videos I've ever made. I'll get back to you guys. I'm getting fishing. Oh, I got one. 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 Boom. Well, guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. See you next time on the Do Everything YouTube channel. Ciao!